Hey guys, welcome back to electronicsinnovation.com. In this video, we are going to make a motion triggered image capturing device with the help of ESP32 CAM and PIR motion sensor. We will accommodate all the components on the Vera board and connect them with the soldering lines as shown here. This device will send a captured image to a pre-programmed email as shown here. This will also save a copy of captured image in onboard microSD card of ESP32 camera. So without wasting time, let's get started. Required components are ESP32 camera, micro SD card, FTTI programmer module, PIR motion sensor, NPN transistor. 1K and 10K resistors. Here is the circuit for motion triggered image capturing device. This is PIR motion sensor. This is an intermediate trigger circuit between motion sensor and ESP32. Here is the ESP32 CAM module which is the heart of the device. This is the FTDI module to program ESP32 module. And this connection is required to put ESP32 module in boot mode while uploading code. Let's implement the same circuit on the Vera board.
after 30 minutes of work with solder on, finally I have implemented the circuit on Vera board. Let's accommodate all the components in their respective places. Before inserting the micro SD card into ESP32 CAM board, we need to format it. So let's do that first. Here is the ESP32 camera module. Insert formatted SD card and place it on the Vera board. PIR sensor. FTDA programming module and finally IO0 and ground pins are shorted with the small connecting wire to put ESP32 module in boot mode. That's it. Let's move to the programming part. Here is the code for motion triggered image capturing device. This code will be available on the project page which is mentioned in the description below. As we are using ESP32 camera module here, we should have the ESP32 add-on installed in our Arduino IDE. I have already installed it. If you want to know how to install the ESP32 add-on, check out the above suggested video. These are the libraries we are using. Out of all libraries, these are pre-installed. And we have to install the last ESP32 mail client library from the library manager. I have also installed this one. We have to select the right camera module here. In my case, it is an AI Thinker module. We have to provide Wi-Fi SSID and password for the internet connection. Enter sender email credentials like mail ID and password here. For sending email from ESP32, I don't prefer to use personal or official email ID. I recommend creating a new email for this. I have explained why we shouldn't use our personal or official mail in my previous video. You can refer it for more details. And we have to allow less secure app for sender email account. Follow the above suggested video if you don't know how to do it. Enter a recipient email address here. If you want, we can also add more recipient emails here. We can also configure camera parameters here. Connect the FTDI programmer with the computer. Check the uploading credentials like board ESP32 dev module uploading speed and select the right port. If everything is OK, Upload it. After successful uploading, disconnect IO0 and ground pins. Now open the serial monitor. On the serial monitor log, you can observe ESP32 successfully connected to the Wi Fi network. Mounted SD card successfully and captured an image and sent an email via SMTP server then went to deep sleep mode. As soon as motion detected, the intermediate circuit will trigger an interrupt to wake up the ESP32 from deep sleep mode. Here you can see as soon as I moved my hand over the sensor, the ESP32 wake up and capture the image and send email over the internet successfully. Let's check on the mail. 
here i have received captured image over the mail oh i have received a new mail too yeah here is the captured image let's check them on the sd card too here you can see a copy of all the captured images saved here this feature will help you to have a backup if the internet is disconnected Coming to input power connection, you can use any 5 volts 1 ampere adapter with a soldered female jumper to connect with the module as shown here. Or you can use any 3.7 volts batteries like lithium ion or lithium polymer batteries. which can be connected like this. That's it. Our motion triggered image capturing cum email device is ready. You can install this at any surveillance area. It will simply capture an image and send an email if any human motion is detected.